So, hey, everybody, look, Master Lady Kira Ra here, and I'm actually up here at our Cafe de Dos Compadres. It's our on-site little coffee shop, and I was up here, and I'm, I'm going to hope that this recording stays on and that my internet is good enough, but I want to show you because this is like a real-time discovery. I had to come get my computer. I don't have a phone, but this is part of the 44 prayer flags that Sri and I brought back from Bhutan um, because when I was up in the mountains of Bhutan, I saw here, it was like, you know, the Himalayas to the Andes, and you see how the wind is starting to pick up. And I often, and I wanna see if I can get this for you on my computer, yeah. It's a really wondrous moment to walk. And you see the compadres, the mag majestic compadres. Well, right here, okay, we're gonna go right there. That is an herb garden, and note as we're going what's happening to the flags. And it's really wonderful, and it's, I want you to see how beautiful a day, look at the sky. It's so beautiful and clear here. It smells like, you know, like air. <laughs> and so as we're walking down, we're coming right down to our extraordinary herbal garden where I was here. And you can kind of get an idea why I've been hanging out with the flags. And those two blue, you see that blue cushion there and there? Um, that's where you can actually sit in the eucalyptus tree. And I was really needing her presence this morning. And so as we're coming down and remnants of people that were here painting, uh, it's very inspirational you can see this wonderful herb garden that we have. Uh, we grow our own stevia, so it's really like the pure thing. And we use a lot of this up in the cafe. So I was down here this morning, literally like a few minutes ago, and check this out. I was called, you see these two stones? Okay, so this has been hiding in plain sight. This has been hiding in plain sight. And this is the gift, we're at the moment of miracles. And here at Tosa Blue Mountain, we, we are like an archeologist dream. <laughs> archeologist, geologist, biologist. So I was coming down to commune with these stones and right here at this beautiful herb garden that I like sitting in and feeling, look at this, isn't that beautiful? Uh, look at all the, the beautiful flags there, the Bhutanese flags, and of course going right up the Andes Mountains there, all of which is our hiking trails. And as I am looking down, this was the one that first called me, but what I am praying my computer will show this to you, but this was the reason I came. Now look, oh my goodness, I hope you're seeing this, look. Look, look, do you see it? You see the X's, you see the carving? Look here, this is obviously a part of the temple and you can really see it. And I have, I have lived here seven years. My husband took his last breath here and every day we discover new artifacts here at Tosa Blue Mountain. And, and this is really the magic that's happening here is that we are, I, I don't know whether we're a threat to archeology span or whether, it's just that consciousness itself is the threat, but get down here and kick the tires. I'd love to meet you. If, if you're really ready to know the truth, I'd love to know you. And uh, I'm always here, tosabluemountain.com, shriandkira.com. And hey, is this so cool? What have we discovered, guys? Look, 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 is that so great? All right. I actually have a meeting with our biologist in about 15 minutes. I'm showing this video to him and you're the first to know this. I have not shared this with anybody. I love you so much. I'm going to see you on the Sunday, this Sunday, right? This Sunday, June 1, if you're catching this in uh, real time, I'll see you then. Namaste.